Hey guys, welcome back! So, as you can see, I've got myself some schmancy new editing software. So, perhaps now my videos will be a little more. This may be our last chance of more bearable. Out alive, Isaac. There's an asteroid loaded up in the mining bay waiting to be smelted. If you attach the SOS beacon to it, you can launch it away from the ship to make a clean broadcast. The beacon's on the maintenance subdeck. You can launch the asteroid from the control room. Damn. The control room is locked. It looks like they keep an emergency access key on the processing subdeck. Couldn't be easy, could it? I don't know how much more of this I can take. That's wonderful. So as I was saying, yeah, I've done a little bit of upgrading. Looks all schmancy and nice now. So, uh, that being said, you're still gonna have to bear with me while I get used to the buttons. I've been, uh, I've been playing a lot of Dead Space 2 lately. What else is new? Power node back there, by the way. That's right, I still have the force gun. Okay. What's with the really epic music? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit on edge now. Still remembering the uh, little swarmer problem I had in chapter 2. Let's see what the power node uh, situation is. Oh, we got one. You know what? I think, and of course we can't upgrade it. Let's see what we can. Uh, nothing that good. So you know what? Let's just uh, let's just move on. Let's go to the store over here. Let's see if we got our inventory set up the way we like it. That's always a good first step. Uh, we do not go over the mess of smalls. Stasis pack. That's good. Uh, line racks. Move for that. And a mumbling. Uh, you know what, let's get let's get rid of the force gun, because, uh, as I know now, it is uh, not nearly as useful as it is later on in the uh, series. <laughs> uh, what do we have on us? I've been a whole mess of everything. Hmm. I haven't used the Ripper that much, have I? No, we're gonna do that. No, we're not gonna sell it. We're gonna move that over. Ah, uh, crap. Why'd I just do that? Yeah, it does get more exciting than this, huh? Sifting through, uh, miles of inventory screen. Ah, uh, you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna leave it the way it is. Everything looks, uh,. Looks all good. We're gonna uh, save point over there. Just call the elevator. Sorry, dude. The mining subject is offline for some reason. I date the office. I'll I don't know. see if I can run a bypass. Okay, so if I recall, our first stop is Deck B. Forgot about this. A little bit of an ambush. Mine gun is definitely your best friend here. Uh, oh, I remember this. So, uh, I believe there's a pregnant right around the corner over there, just, uh, just hanging out. This is Temple. I found Elizabeth, but there isn't a single space-worthy vessel in the whole goddamn bay. Jacob, hurry up! We need to find a beacon! Just gonna there's wait for the audio log to finish. And it did. So... 
Uh -huh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, no, that's good. to eat crow about the ripper, it's actually kind of kick-ass. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> just a bloody mess. <laughs> alive? I'm not worried if you are. Not anymore. <laughs> so, uh, turns out I was full of crap earlier on in the uh, walkthrough. The Ripper is uh, incredibly, incredibly overpowered. It's definitely the force gun of Dead Space 1. <laughs> oh, I like this. I'm gonna be using this a lot. Anything around here? Come and get some. Yeah, calm down. Now I know there's goodies around here somewhere that's uh they're just hanging out outside the map. I think they're all crafty. So uh let's get ah uh -huh, yeah, there it is. What? There we go. I'm not going to be able to talk straight for the next half hour now just because I'm thinking about how awesome the river is. <laughs> I'm not worried. Not that much. Oh. Any takers? Nope. Oh, I hear something. He just can't get over that. I haven't even upgraded it, I don't think. Well, I'm definitely going to be upgrading it a little bit more, I think. It's, uh... Holy crap. Text log. Now, this is going to be an experiment. You might have to bear with me, since uh, I'm recording right now for the first time. Don't actually know if the capture card is going to be, uh... be an amazing quality yet, so, uh... I'm going to give you a second to read that, if you want. Or you can just pause the video and read it. But, uh, check it out after this, and who knows, text logs might be, uh, not off limits now. Which is always good. Uh, ooh, by Paranoid. What am I doing? Oh, I'm in the inventory, that's why. Christ, I'm thick. Uh, Paranoid. Now, I know, uh, I know a few of you have uh, messaged me regarding uh, strategy with the suits. Um, so uh, I've decided that I'm just going to kind of go at it and just uh, buy all the suits in the game, you know, just to show you, show you what uh, they look like. But, um, you know, I think if you're doing your own, uh, your own walkthrough, you don't really need to invest too much in the suits other than the level 3, you know, because uh, other than for items. No, I'm just rambling. So this room. There's a failsafe on the processing control door. It won't open until gravity is restored. But you can't turn on the gravity until those boulders are cleared from the room. Maybe you can dump them into that gravity beam with your kinesis gun. Way ahead of you, Kendra. So, uh, just... As Kendra's already said, you gotta get these boulders into the gravity beam. I can get one in though. Jump up to the ceiling because you got uh, lurkers and leapers coming at you. Come and get some. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Where are you? Come and get some. You're ugly and your mother dresses you funny. Ah, oh, that was a waste of stasis. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh... Haven't really explained yet. The strategy with this room 
is uh, there's a whole bunch of boulders around here that we need to throw into the gravity beam so we can turn the gravity back on. Ah, oh, of course, stasis is going to be... Jerk. Obviously, you're going to want to stay away from the gravity beam yourself. Just, uh... Just be aware, because every single time you throw a rock in here, usually stuff comes out to play. Right, we got lurkers now, so... Blind gun is definitely the flavor of the month. Where are you? Oh. Oh, you... Just two. That's it. No more takers. Now nah, we're good. Rock number three. Uh, really? Really, Rock? We're gonna play that game? There we go. That's for you. You enjoy that. Uh, yeah. I vaguely remember after the third rock, nothing jumps out, but I could be wrong. Plasma energy, that's always good. Uh, where is it? Oh, way over there. That's great. What? Okay. So, here's Bill's tip of the week. Not really. Tip of the walkthrough. I don't know. Um, the second you press this button to uh, reactivate the gravity, there's gonna be a whole mess of things coming to get you. It's not that incredibly hard to fend them off, but on higher difficulties, they can be a bit of a nuisance. But you'll notice right behind you there's a power node room. Now again, I would highly recommend not really focusing on these rooms too much, but you know, it makes a really good little safe haven for this next bit, and it's got some really good goodies inside. So, uh, as you can see, there's only uh, one vent, so you can just put your back up against here, down here, and then uh, nothing can get you, which is always fun. Plus, there's lots of ammo. do is sit back with our uh, super fun saw of death and let the good times roll <laughs> come and get some shooting gallery. Line gun is also good here because it's such a small hallway. But listen to them out there. Boom! Boom! Takes a while longer but it's completely safe this way so... That's for you. Have fun. Oh, double kill? I think so! What the? Uh oh, get out of the way, body. There we go. Now there's a pregnant. I don't think he comes in here. Because, uh, I wouldn't really want even want to see a pregnant try to squeeze his way through that. It would be unattractive on many levels. But we're just gonna sit back. Um. Pick up our ammo. I don't think all of them come in this uh, this little vent here, so eventually this might be in order. Oh. Well, too soon. Luckily, exploders, which are by far the biggest threat, are really, really noisy, so you can hear them coming from a mile away. 